What up everyone, happy new year. Hope 2024 is going good for you so far. Not going all that great for me, but that was to be expected. Anyway, as usual, I share my first mail calls of the year, so hope these will cheer me up a little bit. I'm pretty sure they will, so let's get to it. First up is this bad boy. First up is the high def webcam, 30 frames per second. I do plan on doing live streams more in 2024. I am pretty new to this, so I'll have to see how this pans out. The picture quality is actually nicer than I thought it'd be. The autofocus mm, could be better. I wanted to test uh, the microphone to see if my lavalier mic was better than the actual webcam mic. Here are the results. All right, testing the webcam internal microphones. Testing one, two, three. Webcam internal microphones. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Vampirilla number eight by Warren Publishing. First Conrad and Adam Van Helsing. Also has the first full Vampirilla story and where Archie Goodwin stories began, I believe. So, got this because Trina Roberts is going to be at East Bay Comic Con coming up in February. You should know that she is the one who designed the Vampirella costume. And shout out to my brother, G Man, who informed me that Trina will not sign any Vampirella comics unless it's from Warren Publishing. I've been looking for a cheaper alternative in displaying and protecting my original comic book art before I was using the Snapzo picture frames. The Snapzos don't have glass covering, which is what I like, so I was looking for something similar. I came across these UV protected plexiglass sheets. came in five sheets and they are super thin i love that that means if i have a super lightweight option and holding my original comic book art i can probably put it up on the walls without having to drill something into a stud or nail something into a stud or even just finding a stud i'm hoping it will be lightweight enough so i can just use simple push pins so my plan is basically to keep the original comic book art in a plastic mylar and possibly a backing. This one has a backing. That way I can put black masking tape on the back without having to put it on the actual original art. So basically you double fold it so both sides are sticky. And then I will just tape the edges like so. I actually learned that I should probably start from the back to the front and then use a strip of tape to tape the front to the back. Anyway, here is the finished product. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, for a cost-effective way to display original comic art and voila, I was right. These are light enough to actually hang on the wall using simple push pins. And 
I decided to do another one, put it right next to it. I think I will actually change the position of these pieces to the other side of the wall. But anyway, that's another tale. All right, last but not least is this behemoth right here. I'm actually super excited to open this one. I know what's in it. Let's get to it. If this thing is even cool as all hell, I do not know what it is. His tank turns into Megatron, and Megatron turning into a Cobra his tank. Come on, freaking awesome. I'm a little disappointed about the box. It is kind of beat up. It's got this nasty tear here on the side. Oh, but what can you do? Uh, when I sold this last year, I had to have it, but they were going for like a hundred bucks. No kidding, a hundred dollars. So I waited a little bit for it to come down. I think I got a good deal on this. Once again, the G.I. Joe Transformers crossover. You can't get any better than that. Also, has my favorite female Cobra character, the Baroness. Now the only dilemma is whether to open up and play the living shit out of this thing or keep it all nice and neat in the box. Alright, so that's that. Thanks for tuning in. And be sure to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Hope to see you a lot more in 2024, but we will see. Anyway, have a good one. Happy New Year.